Hi, this is Attican with another Grand Ages Rome campaign mission video. This is the Young Brutus mission. And we're moving forward to just kind of scout the map. We like to go through and map, scout the whole map and look out, see what we've got. So we'll go to each of those villages one by one. But we're going to actually fast forward to the very last one we looked at. And we're actually going to take a second look because we notice that there are we can get clothing and olive oil there. So the strategy is going to be to uh, actually build a library and staff it with a patrician. So this one, the bonus objective is to finish the mission with only nine houses. And we're going to have a patrician house in, in, in our community and basically uh, plebes and I guess one equite to do our weaponsmith and the rest of it will be plebes but uh, we're basically just going to fast start our build with a slave camp build and now I'm kind of jumping forward to how the city itself is laid out we've got our usual two lumber two brick two stone going up there with the uh, slave camp and now we're just going to lay out kind of the in a T we use these uh, large uh, promenades to kind of Give the give the city, even though it's going to be a military city, basically a fort. Uh, it's going to have a nice look to it with the promenades in a in a T shape around the fountain, and um, uh, you know our our military structures. And then we're going to enclose the whole thing. I was asked um, on the forum to show how to you know kind of build a city that was a small fort city. So I thought this mission where you can only build nine houses anyway would be a good example. So here we've moved forward and you can see how it's kind of shaping up. You've got a T shape with the promenades coming in nicely to that uh, large fountain. The forum is actually integrated inside the city here. It's taking up some valuable space in my opinion, but it looks nice sitting there like that. So we've got a military academy and a barracks. Didn't even really need the barracks, but um, build them anyway. We've got a weaponsmith just in range of that military academy so that we're good there. And we're setting up a little bit of trade and we're just continually watching to make sure we don't build over our nine houses. But we're setting up some iron, getting some iron so we can draft our favorite unit, the Triari, because we'll need those to fight off the um, ranged weapons of the uh, enemy uh, villages. So now we're just going to start laying out what the fort's going to look like and setting those two towers close together so we can put a gate there at that road. This is, We're playing the um, original game here, not the expansion, so we can't build our own roads. And using the existing roads, I wanted to kind of match up the fort realistically to how those roads came in and put gates there. So that's what we kind of strive to do all the way through it. And here, uh, move forward a little bit more. We've researched library. We're not really ready to build it because we can't build our patrician yet. We haven't conquered that village. But I did want to just double check and make sure it would fit in that space. So it fit nicely. I've checked Prior to this, I checked to make sure that patrician house would fit in the other space you see um, right there uh, to, or next to the military academy. So, uh, so we've got a good fit. We can get all that in there. And so we're going to be able to build a nice compact fort here and still have it looking pretty nice and have a, have a, have a nice looking city. Here's another road. So we're going to build the, the two tower and, and the gate kind of thing there as well. And just continue to build around the city as the um, stones available. And remember, you can build and then after it's built, then the maintenance is lower which allows you to then build more so that's why you have to kind of build in stages in this game because the flow resources use up a lot more resources during the actual build than you do uh, later on to maintain so moving forward here now we've we're gathering the original Hastati and the Triari we drafted down here at that village we wanted that has the clothing and olive oil we're going to train them up to level four. As soon as they're ready, we're going to move them in and attack that village, and that will enable us to build the library, which will then speed up our research because the, the, one of the end uh, points of the game is when you've drafted a, a Praetorian squad, which, of course, has to be researched. Well, since we only have a school and a small amount of research, it's a very long process to... Um, do all that training and I hear um, we we see a little bonus they send us two reinforcements so our original two have been we've had gotten two more Hastati to go with them so here we've kind of moved forward again we've conquered that first village and I might add this was a pretty good fight even though I had them both at level level four it was a nice fight and my Hastati took a lot of damage I actually had to dance him around to avoid the enemy and run him through the run the enemy through the Triari multiple times in order to keep from uh, losing my Hastati but 
did manage to pull it off and got that uh, village uh, conquered. And that gave us the olive oil and clothing. Now we can build our patrician um, villa and we can build the library and speed up our research for the um, Praetorian Guard. So now we're going to go ahead and place that library. We've got our marble coming in. We actually um, have gone up to that uh, slave, uh, excuse me, the trading post and we're actually buying um, slaves so that we have enough slaves in order to get that um, uh, marble. It's really, you know, slaves are very useful in this one obviously because if you're only going to have nine houses you're going to need some slaves to get the uh, goods income or you're going to have to, you know, do trade for it, which can be difficult. It's hard to have that much trade going. Here's something I rarely do, but I thought I'd take a minute just to kind of take a look at the city since there's not any building to do and I'm waiting on research. And it's looking pretty good. It's not a bad looking little city. Uh, it's basically a military city, and it's just as you expect. It's uh, the central focus is the military academy and the um, you know, we are one patrician there, the one kind of the hot shot of the community living there and right there on the square. And um, pretty pretty nice looking city. And when we finish it off, we'll put a few more uh, little uh, decorations in there and it'll look pretty good. So now we're just kind of finishing off the rest of it, deciding how the rest of it is so we can square it off as much as possible. Uh, it turns out we're going to have to go at a little bit of angles here, particularly around that stone quarry. Uh, we didn't get a nice uh, square fit there, but that's okay. It looks pretty nice. And we've got this other road here, so we're going to run a road down and build another gate there. Uh, now we've moved forward and we're getting ready to, we've gathered our troops up here, moved them back up uh, and put all four of them together. And we're crossing the bridge over over there where there's actually a bow maiden attack. And you got to watch that one. Again, power the triari, move them over, put them into their tupelo or turtle um, formation. They're impervious to ranged attacks, so and now those bow maidens are wasting their time on the triari, and we can clean them up easily. And we can go ahead now. We go ahead and attack the um, the, the village there after we've gotten uh, safely across the bridge, and we do do the same technique. We move our triari up in their turtle, and then we're going to take the hastati and do uh, on the first melee group there. We're going to use our pylum attack and and concentrated on that one to really weaken it. And the technique I really like, this is the method I really like to use, is move up the triari, then use those hastati, uh, concentrated on one, go ahead and take out the melee troops, because remember all those ranged units are basically worthless because they're attacking a triari that's impervious to ranged attack. So you can just uh, hang, hold them all off with your triari and then use your hastati to go in and clean up. So now here you can see, watch this, uh, if you blink, you missed it. Uh, I used three Hastati to do a pylum attack on a on a on a Nubian warrior uh, squad, and it disappeared. So that's how you can kind of quickly get rid of uh, the enemy. Now we're moving all the way to the end of the game. We've gone around the bridge, around the map. We finally got our Praetorian uh, researched and drafted, and we are finishing up the battle here on this last. Um, uh, village that we kind of worked our way around to. Remember that one on, did you see on the left is actually uh, uh, subjugated. That's the one that's given us our clothing and stuff. And here we're coming right to the end of the battle and finally you can see our Praetorian have finally caught up with us. We actually didn't use them on any of the battles. Uh, they really weren't necessary but they are a, a victory condition. So we finish up the battle and we get, uh, we'll soon get the winning condition because we're just about to finish off those that final squad of bow maiden that are hanging in there and once that's done we'll get the victory condition we're double checking the time we win this one with plenty of time to spare we've got our objectives we've got a nice gold medal so uh, basically um, you know build a nice little city a small city can do in this one and get your uh, research going and you shouldn't have any trouble hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helps